Hello Cancer, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. I'm going to do a quick love reading for you for the week. Oh, let's see what's going on. This will not resonate for all Cancers out there. Okay, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, it's very important not to force it. Leave it for who it was meant to reach and take what resonates and leave what doesn't, okay? This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs and any other major placements in which you have Cancer in your chart. We're going to be looking at how your person feels towards you, how you're feeling towards your person, and the mutual energy between you both. Ooh, I think I feel it like this. Ooh, okay. The mutual, the mutual. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, Cancer, let's see what's going on. I just got this deck not too long ago, you all, so I haven't seen all the pictures, so just bear with me, please, while I'm reading for you all i'm so sorry it's taking me a while i hope everyone is staying safe and healthy and recovering from the retrograde we're still in the two week um shadow period so expect your emotions to be a little bit out of whack still a lot of subconscious traumas are going to be coming to light pretty soon so just keep an eye on that okay I'm going to read this as your person, Cancer. I'm going to read this as you. I'm going to read this as the mutual. A lot came out for the mutual, so let's see what's going on. Remember, roles can always be reversed. Flip it as need be. Everyone's story is different. Underneath the deck, Cancer, we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So this means something has come to a halt. Something's come to a halt here, okay? There's a there's stagnation here. There's something here that, that stopped. Let's see what's going on. Um, in your person, Cancer, we have the Queen of Pentacles, Page of Wands, both in reverse, Six of Swords in reverse, and the Queen of Swords. Okay, this is so strange. If you're dealing with the Leo, I'm getting a lot of strange energy. I'm getting so much strange energy in the readings today. <sighs> if you're dealing with a Leo, this may, um, this you, you may want to watch that because I'm getting a very strange story here, okay? It's going to be very specific. It's definitely not going to be for everybody. For your person, Cancer, I feel like this person um, was entertaining or dealing with somebody else, okay? Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Page of Wands, Six of Swords and Queen of Swords. I feel like this, there's two queens here, okay? There's two queens here. Your person was either dealing or entertaining with somebody, with two people, two queens, okay? Remember, queens can be men. There's no gender here, so flip it as need be. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse is someone very money hungry okay um someone very unstable also very money hungry and then we have the page of wands and i feel like you're okay the page of wands in reverse indicates that there could have been some bad news that was relayed okay and when it's followed by the six of swords this talks about trying to stay and make things right and make things work giving something another chance i feel like cancer your person there was someone in their energy that was only after them for their money or something or someone only saw them for monetary value here and remember this doesn't always mean a person this could mean a job or this could mean family this could mean friends okay someone here only wanted this person either to make money off them or for their money okay but there's going to be some bad news that was relayed or is going to be relayed okay this is talks about bad news and i feel like it's maybe that your person i don't know why i'm getting this i'm getting either a job 
is going to let this person go and they're going to have to, okay, they're going to have to either try and make things work with you, Cancer, as the Queen of Swords. And it's kind of like you're waiting for this person. Like you know that this is going to happen. You're waiting for this person. But for others of you, I'm getting like your person told someone who only wants them for their money. They gave them bad news. And they told this person, I don't want to deal with this anymore. I need to try and make things right with my cancer, the queen of swords. I need to try and work things out with my cancer. It's a very strange reading. Um, it's a very strange energy. I'm definitely getting that there's some bad news being relayed that is going to make this person tell someone or something that they want to give it another shot, okay? Um, in your energy, Cancer, you have the King of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, and the King of Wands. All three in reverse, okay? There's someone here you want truth and clarity from. This can be a, a, a female. Okay, take it as it resonates. There's somebody here that you... Oh, I don't know why I'm getting a very strange feeling. Something about seeing things through the camera lens. It could be that people, this person, okay. Oh, I got the chills everywhere. Um, you want truth and clarity from this person. This person likes to paint a pretty picture for everybody, okay? Seeing something through the camera lens. They they bring themselves up. They, they focus on their appearance. They, they're... They're very infatuated with the way other people view them or see them. And they paint that pretty picture. Okay? But you want that truth and clarity from them. Because you know that's not the case. Because behind that pretty picture, you have the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, followed by the King of Wands. Okay? This is instability, a lack in, a broken foundation, a broken home disharmony okay this is the the house the kids the white picket fence long-term commitment longevity trustworthiness and it's in reverse okay there's something here about a broken foundation followed by the ten of cups this person made you happy at one point ultimate wish fulfillment ultimate emotional fulfillment happiness love family vacations everything but it's in reverse okay this person this person may still paint that pretty picture to other people but in your energy cancer you're feeling all the behind the scenes energy it's not a happy home we're not good it's it's a broken foundation because you may not trust this person king of wands king of wands in reverse this is someone really who is it's a player energy okay very in and out very um what's the word impulsive very impulsive very in and out player player at energy okay but i feel like they still put on this pretty persona and facade for others looking in because they want to be viewed as the king of swords. They use their brain, not their heart. But they like they like feeling like people look up to them. Like they they like they get off on the feeling of people thinking that they're powerful or strong. Oh, I have the chills everywhere. I don't, I just, I don't know. I, j I just felt like I couldn't breathe. Hold on. I'm getting arrogant. I'm getting super arrogant. Like, 
because my like I couldn't breathe so I had to like puff my chest out you know like I'm getting super like an arrogant energy oh I have the chills okay in the mutual cancer you have the high priestess you could be done with a Scorpio you have the judgment you have um, three of swords and three of cups three three okay you have two tens here okay tens mean ending you have two queens and you have two kings and then you have two threes right next to each other okay um sorry i got distracted and then you have six three sixes are all about moving away threes are all about following your soul's path and then tens are endings let's see what's going on here okay um, in the mutual energy cancer, we have the high priestess, we have judgment, the three of cups and the three of swords. Okay. I feel like you are you're trying really, really hard to understand this person's actions. You're like even some of you are ascending spiritually, some of you are are, are getting into spirituality. Look, at, we have the high priestess here, okay? This is all about opening up your mind, following your intuition, feeling the magic within you, okay? Look at what judgment. Judgment is all about hearing the call. Hearing the call. Hearing your soul's call. And look, her soul is ascending. You're ascending into a higher level of spirituality. Ooh, with the high priestess. Some, some of you all are definitely ascending into spirituality, okay? Your mind is opening up to the magic that you hold within you. Your, follow, your intuition is becoming a lot stronger. But a lot of you all are trying to trust your intuition. It's, it's kind of like you're trying really hard to understand this person's actions and why they are the way they are and why they do things the way they do things. But your intuition is, I am, ooh, I almost, ooh, I almost, I just got dizzy. Some of you all are making yourself sick, th trying to understand this person's actions, trying to see things from their point of view, and you're making yourself sick because you're trying to find logic where there is no reason. Ooh, I got the chills. Ooh. Um, a lot of you, I think you're trying really hard to understand this and your, your, your higher self is telling you, don't make excuses. Trust your intuition. Don't make excuses for this. Listen, your angels are trying to give you the answer, but it's kind of like you're begging for a different answer. This person knows that you're, you, you know who and what they are, okay? Um, look at, what is that? What are these? M, I don't know if the letter M is significant. The letter V, the letter C, or the letter P. Okay, I've never seen that in this card. Hmm. Some of you are definitely opening up to spirituality because I'm noticing like her jewelry here. It's kind of like your, your third eye has been opened, okay? In the mutual energy, you're trying to follow your intuition. You're hoping and praying that this person will change and your, your angels are telling you, trust your intuition. Like it's not wrong. It's not wrong, okay? This person knows that you're hip to their game. This person knows this is what you want. Like you want them to hear the call. You want them to elevate with with you. And ascend with you. 
because this is the mutual energy we have the three of cups and the three of swords okay there's a third party here that has come to light that is still hurting this connection oh i have the chills so bad <gasps> have you heard that song okay look at so the three of cups doesn't always mean another woman it does not always mean another man When it's in reverse, this means that there's not a lot of good times, okay? There's not a lot of good times. Someone may be overly indulging in, you know, partying or substance abuse. But I feel more so this is a third party, okay? Third party can be anything that is interfering in the way of your connection. Followed by the Three of Swords. It's still hurting someone. It's still hurting this connection because it's in the mutual. It's hurting this person. It's hurting you, Cancer, and it's hurting this person. It's hurt this connection. There's a song by Big Sean. I don't remember what it's... Is it Big Sean? I think it's Big Sean. There's a song and it's called... I don't remember what it's called, to be honest, but I just remember a part and that's what it's reminding me of. It says... If we pick up all the pieces, we can still be a collage. And I feel like that's what you both have been trying to do because there is something that came to light here, okay? Can we pick up all the pieces and still be a collage? But it's still painful. Someone is still in agony on the inside, whether they show it or not. It's like they're hiding how hurt and heartbroken they are by trying to mend this connection here. And that could have been a catalyst to lead you into spirituality here, to ascend. I feel like th there's just a lot of pain. Look at how dark this card is. There's a whole lot of pain behind this connection here. Let's get some love messages and then we'll call it a video. Give me some love messages. Ooh, love messages, love messages, love messages. If this is resonating, uh, leave a comment below. If you want to book a private reading with me and or purchase these cards, see everything that I offer. Everything is below in the description, okay? I don't know why I'm getting like... Oh, gosh. Okay. Mm. If you want to follow me on a personal level, my Instagram is below as well as my Amazon wish list. If you want to donate in a new deck to the channel I would greatly greatly appreciate it um, if you subscribed clarifying your energy cancer we have liar slash manipulator okay like I said you don't trust this person this person is very manipulative they manipulate their image to the outside world when they're not taking care of what's really important which is you cancer the home the family the love they're still very impulsive they're very in and out what is that saying? Look at the lion behind him. It's like there's a beast within them. There's a beast lying within themselves, but they hide it for the world. For the world, they come off as very charming, very cunning. Ooh, that's what I'm getting. But we have liar slash manipulator, okay? You don't trust this person. You know who and what this person is about. And they're, they're manipulating their image to the outside world and lying to themselves because they're not focusing on what's really important. Clarifying the mutual, we have marry me. Some of you all are married to this person or were married to this person, okay? Or some of you found out about a situation and still married this person or this person asked you to marry them. And as much as you try to let it go, it, it's just, it's not working, okay? Someone is in agonizing pain here. And someone is even, maybe even, this person expects you to just close your eyes and not say a word about it. The high priestess, okay? She never opens her mouth. She's very intuitive. But look at, in this picture, her eyes are closed. This person expects whatever came to light that is hurting this connection or hurt this connection, this person expects you to turn a blind eye and never speak about it. 
And your angels are not letting you do that. Your angels are making you feel all the hurt because they don't want you to lower yourself. They want you to trust your intuition and ascend. That's what I'm getting. Oh, I got the chills. Clarifying your person, we have drive me crazy, okay? Let's get another one for your person because I don't know what that means. It could be that they're driving you crazy. It could be that, um, just one, please, just one. There we go. Oh, they gave us three. Um, <laughs> okay. It could be that they're going crazy over whatever news that they've received or whatever situation they got going on that's that gave them bad news or something. Or it could be that you drive this person crazy or they drive you crazy, okay? Either way, I feel like they're very much in their head. Clarifying them, I asked for one, but three came out, so we'll take it. We have long distance. They could be literally at a distance from you, or you guys could have some disharmony that makes it seem like you both are being distant towards each other. We have focus on yourself and leave the past in the past, okay? This person... This person is only focused on themselves. Whatever happened... They expect you to just forget about it. They want you to forget about it, but it's like they're not even really worried about your healing cancer because they're still focused on themselves. They, they do only what they want because they think it's going to be beneficial for them. But that's what I have for you. I hope this helps. I hope this resonates. Um, I'm sorry if that was a little rough. Um... I'm sending you lots of love, light, peace, clarity. May peace always surround you and I will talk to you very soon.